Now rattle over. Winner of 15 Five of her please. last 16 major tournaments, including Wimbledon and the US Opens this year. Play. Can she add the Australian Open title? The record overwhelmingly favours Snap Rattleover going into this match. 9 0, the head to head. Crisp indeed from the world's number one ranked player. Fifteen love. Well, she did take a set off never at all over, as you pointed out, Alan, here on grass in the Australian Open Championship two years ago. There aren't too many players who have done that since. No. Too good. Running forehand, always a favourite shot of left-handers. 15-30. Can hit the pass or the topspin lob with pretty much the same uh, backswing and hard to pick. Immediately, chances for Navratil over to break through the serve of Jordan. is already assured of uh, topping the worldwide Virginia Slim's point standings for this year, regardless of the outcome of this match. Game, never put over, two tough. Well, that'll leave a nasty taste in Kathy Jordan's mouth. Double fault on break point. Yes, and missing a couple of volleys there as well. Just a little uh, nervous, I think. First Grand Slam final for her, and of course for Martina, it's just normal. 15 love. A tremendous advantage uh, for a player like the Rattleover in a final. Played so many big finals, and having won most of them, she's relaxed. She knows how to handle it, but not so for Kathy Jordan. Fifteen, 
16 all. Well, Martina thought that just missed. Not two chances there, but let's have another look. Gee, it did look as though it uh, might have just missed. But it stands regardless and two chances for Jordan to get back the break. Two games to one. Serving for the first time, looking into the sun. Rattle over using the lob to set that point up. Just missed. 30, 40. And so Jordan in jeopardy again. Jordan, of course, a former winner of the uh, doubles championship here in Australia, 1981, in partnership with Ann Smith. Uh, rattle overs great doubles record she and Pam Shriver are the reigning doubles champions in Australia Good 
this two. This Mm. Jordan slipped as she uh, tried to make the play there. That's a good little angle off the backhand there. Jordan not doing enough with that forehand. Martina could have, could have gone either way. In fact, Kathy was expecting the topspin cross court. She was moving that way, and then when it was down the line, that's when she uh, slipped. She'll have to just get a few more first serves in. Second break point against her. Juice. Well, that, I saw hmm? the ball was out. well that should be game That's then. That's right. I, I saw the ball was out. Then it must be game. Correction. Game. Never ever over. <laughs> Never over leads three games to one. So Kathy Jordan has broken serve for her one game, but uh, struggling a bit on her own serve. If she's going to serve volley successfully, then she needs a higher rate of uh, first serves in. Fifteen love. Well, there's the bread and butter point to the second court for left-handers. Slice served to the backhand, taking their opponent wide out of court, leaving the open forehand for the volley. seen in many battles between the United States and Australia in Davis Cup, certainly. Quiet, please. Jordan down, 1-4. service just doesn't carry the same uh, penetration as does that of Navratilova. Now there's a, a better serve volley point from Jordan. 15 all. Well, Kathy Jordan, this is her fifth major tournament final for 1983. She's not uh, been able to clinch one of those titles. Finished runner-up to Schreiber in the Virginia Slims Atlanta tournament. Well, <laughs> that's the shakiest looking overhead, but uh, 
It's got the point. 13, yeah, she finished runner-up to Shriver in Atlanta, runner-up to uh, the South African girl, Ross Fairbank, uh, at Richmond, Virginia. out to Romania's Virginia Rosic in the Slims title in Detroit and of course to Joe Dury two weeks ago in Sydney. She did well to turn that uh, difficult shot into a winning shot for her. Perhaps a little fortunate, but um, at this stage she needs a few things to go her way. And a chance here to hold her first service. Games to two. The big man in the middle there is the former Australian Prime Minister, Mr. Malcolm Fraser. pick up uh, by Jordan but just wide interested spectator as always with his wife Tammy Tried to hold back on that as long as she could, but it didn't deceive Navrat all over. Well. Martina with a drop volley. Not as good as she wanted, but still anticipating the down the line passing shot. And Jordan really pouncing on that uh, first serve. It seemed to bounce a little higher, and she was right there for the winner. Lovely volley by Navrat Labour at full stretch for the game. Game. Navrat Labour. Navrat Labour leads five games to two. <laughs> well, she had it covered. 15, love. Doesn't make too many uh, errors of judgment like that. Well, that was actually quite a good second service from Kathy Jordan. Deep and still Navratilova was quick enough to move around and hit that punishing forehand return. Oh! 
Gee, Jesse. she climbed way up there for it. Just been noticing Martina using the lob quite a bit. Kathy really hits that first volley and then closes right on top of the net. Jordan was there for the volley, but uh, such an accurate chip shot from Navratilova, just clearing the tape by millimetres. Two set points for Navratilova. Six games to two. Well, again, Kathy Jordan not getting in enough first serves, although in that game she hit two quite deep second serves, including that one on the set point. And still Navratilova was able to come up with the fine returns. Second set. Service ace for now rattle over. 13, love. It's amazing with the number of major tournaments played around the world that this is only the second time these two players have met this year. They didn't meet at all through 1982. There at a lunge volley from Kathy Jordan. She's trying to get to the net, trying to attack, which is her normal game, but doesn't have the same range of shots as does the uh, number one seed. 40, 30. Which, of course, is partly due to her unorthodox grip. You can see her holding that western grip there on the forehand. Makes it difficult for her to come over the ball on the backhand side. Oh, she's missed it. The whole court was wide open. Game, never to over. One lock. New balls, please. It's difficult to uh, suggest what Kathy Jordan might do in the second set. I feel she just needs to uh, get some more first serves in. She's got a serve volley. That's her natural style of play. And to have more success with that, she'll need to just serve that first serve with just a little bit more consistency and a little more penetration. She's serving now. Love one, second set. speed and strength of Navratilova to get to that shot. 30, love. But uh, Jordan in command at the net again and not overdoing at that time. Hey. 40, love. 
Well, you notice this game, Kathy Jordan has got all the first serves in and she's at 40 love. That just keeps her opponent that little bit further back and on the defensive. Most of the time. <laughs> 40, 15. Well, Martini's going to come up with a lot of winners off the first serves as well, but it uh, enabled Cathy to get to 40, love. You can see that Jordan's first service percentage is not all that bad. In fact, the best service game of the match for her. Martina just checking out the position of the sun. It's difficult for her from that southern end now, being a left-hander. She's looking right into the sun. Love 15. Love 30. Opportunity here for Kathy Jordan to uh, perhaps sneak an early break in the second set. 15 30. Yeah, I think the freeway noise uh, behind the stadium is getting a little bit under Martina's skin. There are idiots on the freeway in every country in the world. Oh, a lot of slice on that serve. 30 all. $75,000 first prize money at stake in this match. Second serve sitting up on Jordan's forehand down the line for the winner. Break point for her. And then oh. again. Right. One off the forehand, one off the backhand. Jordan breaks okay. through. Jordan. Jordan leads two games to one. Two one. Fifteen love. Jordan. 40, love. When the first serves go in for her, she's very quick to take advantage.
One for Jordan in the second set. Game, Jordan. Jordan leads three games to one. Well, Jordan backing up some uh, better serving in this second set with solid volleying. As I said, gets very close to the net. And a good performance from her early in the second set. Surprising to see Navratilova remain at the baseline behind that second service. She did it once in the previous game as well on the 30 all point. Well, Martina not too sure of the call. It no. looked like it just passed over the baseline. Yeah, I think the replay shows it long. First service. chance opening up here for Jordan she's on her toes raring to go second serve from uh, now rattle over down a break and 15 30 30 all and the rattle over service seems to be just missing its mark in the second set the service percent is dropping off. Good use of topspin there from Jordan. Oh, Gina Bradley stays cool, doesn't she, under pressure? There's fine lobbing there. I'm still just a little surprised that she's remaining at the baseline behind some of her serves. So perhaps she's just tensing up a little bit with the thought of winning this title and putting one more or the third leg towards her grand slam. Wimbledon and the US Open already belong to Navratilova. She could clinch this and then go on next year to take the French. Advantage Navratilova. Would put her among the unique few. Three games to two. 
Jordan must be pretty happy with the position that she's in, especially as her first serve percentage has picked up here in the second set. Five, please. First service. Second service. Great smash from Jordan, right back at the feet of Navratilova. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Well, the rattle over senses an opportunity to break back. Fifteen thirty. Oh, Jordan was there. 40. Anticipated the cross court backhand, was right on it. Just caught the ball a little late and pushed it wide. So, two break back points for the number one seed. Good second service there from Kathy Jordan. Landing it short and with a lot of slice, it took Navratilova way out of court. Over can't believe it. Two chances there on the forehand. Firstly, the second serve, and then Jordan volleying back to her. It was an opportunity for her to get the break back. Oh, Jordan has missed it. Advantage, never it over. Well, there have been four or five chances uh, like that in the match to date. 
either at the net or on the overheads, where Jordan seemed to have a sitter and just failed to make the shot. And uh, having picked up the first serve percentage in the earlier couple of games, it's uh, dropped right off again. That's the break back. Game, never it over. Three games all. Kathy Jordan appeared to have a chance to return that ball, but such was the placement and timing of that backhand volley, it ended up a winner. Kathy Jordan moving in in this game behind her returns, trying to hustle and bustle the rattle over into a few errors. Not working though. Oh. And a love game, game to the rattle over. The rattle over. The rattle over leads four games to three. Oh. Serving from that southern end which she's had a little bit of trouble. And the first point to the rattle over. In full flight, that rattle Not over. 15. Picking up the forehand and whipping it across court. Rattle over claiming that uh, ball was out here at the northern baseline. Well, I must say it looked uh, good from where I viewed it. And from where the uh, alliance person viewed it. Looked certainly good. Well, Martina's had a few opportunities on uh, fairly straightforward passing shots, which she's missed. Just a little anxious here to uh, try and finish off this match.
Uh, Jordan Hull serve. Game, Jordan, four games all. And really got a great hand there from the fans. I think they'd like uh, to see this match keep going for a while. a kiss to the lines lady so she got it right that time Match. 40, 15. Five games to four. Not fifteen. And losing that vital opening point. Really will give Navratil over a lift. She can afford now to be just a little bit more aggressive on this second point. Well, speaking of aggression, <laughs> she certainly put plenty behind that. Well, Jordan's been worrying to rattle over in the second set, just hustling, getting to the net, just putting pressure on, and the rattle over has been a little tentative. Hey. Missed it. 40, 15. Jordan's had fairly good success with volleying down the middle of the court, cutting out the angle. The rattle over has missed a few of those. Well, that's good tactics. And she's held sir. Five games old. Here's much better second set by Kathy Jordan and the opening one. So Martina now to serve from the clubhouse end. And uh, under that hat, I think, is the Victorian Premier, John Kane. Fifteen, love.
14-15. Well, it was a difficult smash, Alan. Yes, that was a good lob. She did well probably to get a racket to it in any case. She really had to get quite a bit off the ground for that. Was she in two minds there or just cramped for room? Yes, the ball uh, catching her, I think. The return from Jordan uh, coming awkwardly, helped a little bit by the breeze which is blowing that way, and the rattle over had no room on that shot. So Kathy Jordan down 5-6 in the second set. Martina took the first six games to two. Out. 15, love. And Jordan really taking it up to Navratilova in the second set. Kept the pressure on, forced Navratilova into quite a few errors. And a good chance now for Kathy to take this second set to the tiebreak. Oh. All Jordan could do was stand there and watch it go past the baseline. Well, the Rattelator hitting out freely there. I feel in the last few games she's been a little tentative with her ground strokes. Boy, did she do well to stay in that point. It's a great lob, wasn't it? The Brett Lovin within two points of match. Oh, that gives a match point. Yes, that's worth another look. Good angle volley there, and the rattle has got to hit the winner, which she does. Beautiful running forehand. Match point. Yes. And Martina anticipating a backhand and actually got in too close to the ball there. Point number two.
good serve. Got the chalk. Deuce. Well, if she needed a good serve, it was right there and then. And Jordan once again demonstrating her fighting spirit. Certainly worth a second look. Jordan, six games all, the tie break. Yes, great effort there, Alan, to save the two no match points. Ball. No new balls, up for the tie break. Yes, and getting the first serve in on both those match points. Cathy <laughs> <laughs> Jordan just coming over to the umpire's chair now, I think, to inquire about the ball change. No new balls in the tie break. And the rattle over will serve the first point. Zero. No and against Martina Allen, you can't afford double faults and tie breaks, can you? No. No, each point is so vital. More important than the normal points in a game. No. You're right. They love two. Too much. Gee, that was long, was it? Oh. Two, one. Ooh. Never at a Well, that was interesting. I agree with you. I thought that was uh, wide. Let's see if we can pick it up on the replay. No objection from Martina. Shot. Now this time, uh, Kathy looking at the. One. Never to look. Well, very close. Worth a look, I think. Yes, very close. Wasn't hit all that hard though, so the linesman in perfect position to call it. And gee, it was close, even on the replay. But uh, no overrule. Three-one to rattle over. Perhaps that evens it out, Adam. <laughs>
Well, Martina really showing her great athleticism there. Jordan looked to have the point at her mercy. She did. The front loader looked out of it. Four, one, never at a load. Well, I think that's a match-winning point from Martina's point of view. 3-2 to 4-1. That's a very big swing in this tie break. And it looked uh, certain to be 3-2. Uh, a great effort there from Navratilova. 1-4. Players changing ends. Never and Kathy Jordan's forgotten. She has. Martina very quick to move around to a chair, so she'll take advantage of that and towel down. And Kathy Jordan looking to feet right down the barrel now. But Martina has played the tie break superbly, and Kathy, of course, getting off to a bad start with that double fault early. Couldn't help her cause whatsoever. Pouring it on now in this tie break, and she's got five match points. Six, one, never alone. She's really hit freely in this tie break and the preceding game. I felt she was just getting a little tentative towards the end of the second set. She certainly lost it pretty quickly, though, haven't didn't she? Well, she's decided to really go for her shots again. There's one Six, drag back. Two, never alone. And a great effort by Kathy Jordan, nevertheless. Against the world's number one ranked player. She's had four match points and hasn't been able to clinch it. She's still got another three. What are you suggesting? <laughs> well, it's just tightening up a little bit, isn't it? It is. Again, the tenacity of Kathy Jordan. Ah. Yes. Yes. Six. Never over. Well, it's 6-5, but that double fault looking all that more important now, isn't it, Alan? 6-5, never at all over. Well, let's see what Martina does on the first serve here. She's only human, she'll have to think about all those match points that she's had. She's had six. This is match point number seven and uh, needs in a good first serve just to close out the match. That's it. Martina's won it again. Straight sets over Kathy Jordan, 6-2, 7-6. Three Grand Slam titles this year to Martina. The Wimbledon, United States, and Australian. Game, set, and match. Martina Navratilova. Two sets to love. Six, two, seven, six. Thank you, Lionsman. Thank you, ball girls. Ladies and gentlemen, to begin proceedings for the presentations following the singles final, it's my pleasure to introduce the President of the Lawn Tennis Association of Australia, Mr. Brian Turbin. Thank you, Gary. Mr. Premier, Dr. John Fraser, President of the Victorian Tennis Association, Sir John O'Brien, Managing Director of the Marlborough Company, very many distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. If I could just take uh, a moment, I would like to introduce to you 
uh, some of the distinguished guests that are here with us this week in Melbourne. We do have the executive of the International Tennis Federation in Melbourne, and particularly I would like you to acknowledge the chairman of Wimbledon, Sir Brian Burnett. The President of the United States Tennis Association, Mr. Hunter Delatour. And President of the International Tennis Federation and the French Tennis Federation, somebody you've seen here before, I'm sure, Mr. Philippe Chartrier. Thank you. I do think, though, that we're here now spe specifically to congratulate our finalists, and uh, I hope you'll agree with me that uh, it's turned into a great little match. Cathy, you've had a good season in Australia this summer, and you've given us a lot of pleasure. I, uh, I'm sure it was a great achievement to reach the final here in the Australian Open. Would have been a monumental achievement, I guess, to have beaten Martina, but uh, you've done very well in a tournament which has had a very strong feel. We congratulate you on your effort. In fact, uh, you almost joined the list of immortals who have taken a set from Martina this year. It was a great performance and we congratulate you. <laughs> Martina, we're, we're very much appreciative of the, the support that the Women's Tennis Association and the top girls have given us uh, in Australia and particularly this year where we're now playing again as a fully-fledged joint tournament with the fellows. We very much appreciate your association support and particularly yours. Martina has now been a finalist here, I think, on the last three years, and this is the second time in those th three years that she's been our champion. Our congratulations go to you. Martina, of course, has now won the Wimbledon Singles Championship, the United States Singles Championship, and now the Australian, which I'm sure thrills Philippe Chartrier because she now goes to the French looking for the fourth leg of that Grand Slam and a million dollars bonus. <laughs> and she needs it too, the poor girl. Martina has obviously been the most outstanding woman tennis player in 1983, and we're very proud to have had you again as our champion, Martina. And now I introduce to you Mr. John O'Brien, Managing Director of Marlborough Company, who will present the cheques to Kathy Jordan in the first instance, and to Martina. Thank you very much, Brian. Um, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Marlborough Company, I am very happy to welcome these two ladies over and thank them for coming to the, the tournament and making the um, Marlborough Australia Open, Australian Open a great world event for us. Uh, firstly, Cathy. to say that it's finally a beautiful day here in Australia and even though I lost to Martina I still feel finally I feel good and, and the sun is so beautiful in the sky I can't feel bad on a day like this. I need to thank uh, for this tournament in my home month in Australia. Uh, I think uh, Virginia Slims has put on all these tournaments for our series it's, which is coming to an end in February. And thanks to getting to the finals here, I'm hoping to uh, finish so I can play in the championships in New York. We need to thank for, for this tournament, Marlborough, for sponsoring the Australian Open. And uh, also, I think uh, the regent who put us up in such beautiful rooms, mine was great. <laughs> Lastly, there are three people I want to thank for helping me to do well here in Australia. Dick Creeley, Judy Dalton, and John Bartlett. So thank you. And 
somebody else who wants to That's yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Philippe Chartrier will present the Australian Championship trophy to Martina. There you go. Often and that long, so I would like to prolong that moment as long as I can. But uh, like Kathy said, it is a beautiful day, and uh, it was just a fantastic day to play tennis. And uh, we're glad that you all finally had a chance to come out, because uh, I know that I wouldn't probably be here in that kind of weather myself. So I would like to thank all those people who did come here when the weather wasn't shining so much, uh, the sun rather, and uh, just glad that it it all ended finally. But uh, Anyway, I would like to thank uh, my coach, Mike Estep, and his wife, Barbara, for a lot of support. And uh, also Nancy uh, Lieberman, my uh, good friend uh, from the States. She flew here just in time for the Dury match. And uh, I don't know if I would have won the whole thing without her. So thanks, Nancy. This tournament would be possible without the sponsorship of Marlboro, Mr. Uh, John O'Brien. We have a special thing for you here that, of course, I get to give. I must say it has been enjoyable, even though there have been a few problems, to be playing with a man. We don't get to see him that many times during the year, and it, uh, it is nice to be able to mingle with him and get to know him a little better. And uh, I think it's probably also more enjoyable for you because you get to see men as well as women, and it makes it for a lot more fun. So hopefully we'll be here again next year, all together again, happily ever after. <laughs> and let us not forget the uh, ball girls. They did a great job. They probably do more running than we all. So thank you, ball girls, and of course the linesmen also. Thank you. Just before you go, Martina, there is one more trophy. Dr. John Fraser, the president of the LTAV, has the Victorian Open Championship trophy, which goes in conjunction with the Australian Open title. Okay, you can hold them both up now if you've got the strength because there's a lot of press guys here who want to get some uh, great pictures. Martina Navratilova for the second time in three years, the Australian Open singles champion.